Hello Pioneers, welcome back to the SJ Network Sports News Update. I'm your host Matthew Benestad, bringing you all information about what is going on in the sports world here at St. John's. Starting off with the basketball team. On Tuesday, February 7th, the basketball team faced off against Doherty High School. The result of this game was a 67-49 win for the Pioneers. Four different players scored double digits in this game. Harrison Miles with 18 points, Noah Bascard with 13 points, J.V. Collip, Francis McGonagall with 12 points, and senior George Ironman with 11. This Monday, February 13th, the team faces off against St. Paul's High School at 6.30 p.m. Then on Wednesday, February 15th, the Pioneers go against the Titans of Algonquin. This game tips off at 6.30 p.m. in Coach's Pavilion. On Friday, February 17th, the basketball team heads down the street to Shrewsbury High School for the last game of the regular season against the Colonials. This game starts at 7.30 p.m. That is all for the basketball team this week. Let's wish the team the best of luck as they try and finish the season strong. On over to the rink to see what the hockey team is up to. On Sunday, February 5th, the team faced off against the Eagles of Boston College High School. This game resulted in a 3-1 win for the Pioneers. Luke Girardi led the team with two goals in the second period, with Luke May scoring the third goal for the team. Goalie Ryan Melanson saved 37 shots in this game. Then, on Wednesday, February 8th, the hockey team fought hard and defeated Lincoln Sudbury 7-5 on senior night. The seven goals for the Pioneers came from Jack Belgard and Luke Girardi leading the way with two goals each, and Sean Phil, Daniel Malaykin, and Luke May each scoring one goal. Congrats to all the seniors on the hockey team for a great season this year. On Wednesday, February 15th, the hockey team goes to Breakaway Ice Arena at 7.10 p.m. for a matchup against Andover. Let's see if the team can pull out some wins and finish the season strong. On over to the pool to find out how the swim team wrapped up their season. The swim team had the last meet on February 6th against Worcester Academy and pulled away with a 58-35 win. That's all for the swim team for this season. Let's give the best of luck to the individual swimmers competing in the sectional round of the playoffs. Now let's see what this track team is up to. On February 11th, the team competed in the last chance meet. Results from this meet will be shared in the next update. Then, on February 17th, the team has the Division I state meet at Reggie Lewis Center. Let's give the best of luck to all the runners competing and hope they perform well. On over to the mats of the wrestling team. The wrestling team finished their season on February 4th with a total of 22 wins. This marks the most wins in the 29-year history of the St. John's wrestling program. Congrats to all the members of the team this year. On February 11th, the state sectional final start for the team. Then on Friday the 17th and Saturday the 18th start the Division I state finals. Let's give the best of luck to the wrestling team and hope they can go far in the state playoffs. Over to the slopes where the ski team has been dominating their meets. The team had a meet on February 2nd where they got a 9-0 sweep and four individuals placed in the top 10. In third place was junior Robbie Carter, eighth place was Tommy Robinson, ninth place was sophomore Maddox Lee, and in 10th place Luke Cronin. The ski team had a meet on February 9th Results for this meet will be shared in the next update. With a 27-0 record, the team is looking ready for the state playoffs. That's all for this week, folks. Thanks for tuning in to the SJ Network Sports News Update. We will be back for more info and better content. Let's give all the athletes good luck in all the games and meets this upcoming week. Thank you and goodbye for now.